This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now in front of the house, and behind me here is the Neo EL7. I tested it before. Today I'm gonna do some checks before I go for a 1000 km challenge with trailer. But uh, this video is not about that one yet. We will just do a little, uh, uh, they call it Harri Tour, which is to drive to Sweden and shop some stuff. Yeah, that's what Norwegians do. You know, uh, fun fact, Norwegians, they go to Sweden to buy stuff. Swedes, they go to Denmark to buy stuff. Danes, they go to Germany to buy stuff. What about Germans? Do they go to Eastern Europe? <laughs> Poland, maybe? <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's get the heck out of here before the police catches me. <laughs> no, but okay, so I've been charged now to 100%, but actually this is weird because the car claims 99%. Yeah, okay, all is good. So, um, yeah, let me see, I just put it here. Um, yeah, we are now loaded. Let me show you the EL7. Okay, I'm not sure if I can show Wi-Fi. Huh? Can I huh? show, show to me? Voila, look at this. Look at those legs. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let, no, no, nothing to see. But look at that, huh? Huh? This is the, I was about to say, the, the queen's chair, huh? Wifey instantly loves it when she saw it. Oh, yeah. You see here? You can adjust this one and, and you can adjust this side. She prefers to have it on that. that. We should check is it, if it's child safe. It, will it squeeze her feet if we go too far up? Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, so this is the luxury. Yeah, okay, you, okay, you can adjust it back there. I don't know, I forgot. Well, it's a bell, it's here. Yo, what's up? The princess. Yeah, the queen is in the front. The princess is here. And then we have the sister. Hello. Yeah, or we just call it, we just call her the Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but man, this car has so much space. You see, <laughs> yeah, it has so much space. And you see, the Wi-Fi even has a nice recline position. And we even have space here. Okay, and look, 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 perfect for, for family, as a family car, you just close it. Okay, maybe not. Soft close. If Isabelle is asleep, she won't hear it coming. It's like a ninja. And then in the back here, looks like this. We also have a, a lower floor here. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, we have plenty of space. I just put the Cybex e -priam here. We have some of my shit. We have, uh, this is Duna Leaky. Yeah, maybe I can show. <laughs> we need to show it one day. Yeah, cool. It got it from Amdima in Sweden. So uh, we put some of the stuff here. Eventually we will have space for, uh, for food and stuff. Yeah, and then I can show it now. I think we're ready to go. So yeah, here, look. For some reason, it doesn't charge to 100%. Maybe it has degraded, yeah. Because some people think that uh, the batteries in the Neo pool, they don't degrade. Well, uh, do you think uh, every time we swap the battery, it's disposed? <laughs> it's of course being used in the pool. So of course it has degradation. Yeah, we have power keep. Okay, I can disable this one. This is fun fact. If you have the power keep mode on, which is keep, okay. Chinese people, man, the way they copy stuff. Pet mode, that's like uh, dog mode in Tesla. Power keep mode is like uh, the same as um, keep climate on. And then camping mode is like camp mode in Tesla. But the strange thing here is that as long as you're in the power keep mode, I'm gonna buckle up now, I'm gonna show you something here. I'm not sure why it's like this, but uh, if you're like that, um, you cannot move. You cannot move, you see? You have to, yeah, it says turn off power. Uh, why? Why do we, why? Okay, now we can move. Okay, let's get over to Schweinsun. All right, we're on the move now. So, um, yeah, fortunately we managed to get out of uh, the city before the Stau started. It's Friday afternoon, but there's still lots of traffic here. And Isabel is asleep right now. <laughs> she snores kind of loud right now i don't have a microphone there but uh yeah <laughs> so we you know before we drive on a trip we will typically time it so that isabel will be tired during that time so she will sleep usually she sleeps for 
maybe one to three hours so there is peace in the car <laughs> but one thing i don't like is that when when i enable nomi pilot say there's a little chime doom doom this one is is actually not that bad i try to find the setting for volume but um, if i go to uh, here and if i there's the the uh, okay you don't have to you could just be in the back there yeah not too important but um, um when i use use lane assist uh, auto stair it tends to be a little bit wobbly uh, wifey didn't notice it yet but then if i don't use lane assist and only use acc then th here is this gong <laughs> wait two loud gongs man isabelle is asleep um, in tesla you will have uh, yo mode where it lowers the volume and that becomes way better uh, more comfortable and you don't want to wake up the kids so here maybe they should copy yo mode well, we're here nubi shopping center uh, we arrive at 69 percent wow huh? that's it we were stuck behind so many left lane hoggers um well i can't see consumption number here what the heck man these chinese cars but you can see here that we spend 27 kilowatt hour okay all right let's get ready so this is the way to park uh here is the baby stuff so wait huh. yeah, this is always uh, like you can't do this like you can't once it locked then you have to bring out the key fob unless you use the app maybe and then okay but you see we want to be able to open the door far enough without bumping into the car next to us so the trick i always use is that i park as far as possible but as long as you are on the line then that's okay they cannot uh, give you a ticket but if one of the wheels are outside the line then you can get a ticket but let me show you now I w we were trying wife and i and may we did all the park capoeira here looking like idiots but <laughs> um so we took out some of the baby stuff um and then here we have some stuff yeah cooler bag so we will just go inside and eat first and then i guess i had to run back here for the rest of the stuff okay now we just lock it see there you go you see hey is swedish hey is norwegian hi is uh, english very similar languages yeah so uh, yeah we have food garden here which is a new thing but i heard that uh, the review is not that good even though it's, they just finished building it uh, not many months ago and then we have this one is thai people thai buffet this is the buffet we always go for and there's also asian town over there but we'll just go for this one this one is the best oh yeah just like last time we have some fried rice we have some red fried vegetable and this one oh the pork the, gr the grilled pork mm. and then isabelle gets some rice hmm, i think we need a little bit more wow wifey just <laughs> chili <laughs> i'm too weak sauce i can't eat all that chili Nyam nyam nyam. There's a bell. Nyam nyam nyam. <laughs> nyam nyam nyam. <laughs> oh man, we are so full. This, the, the impressive part is that wifey ate a lot. Um, she ate roughly the same amount in, in grams as me but i weigh 50 percent more than her roughly yeah and isabel also well she ate some stuff but you know i actually think that uh, that the rose garden has even better food uh, we i should go back to rose garden but yeah look look at this man put in the ribbon put in the ribbon he's so cute isabel is so cute can you say something Okay, we just passed the body power shop. Where, where did, where did wife go? Oh, wi oh, wife is looking at some uh, 
cups. <laughs> and then Maya, Maya is in heaven. She's like, oh, no way, no way. Yeah. I, I don't know what the heck. This is some kind of protein. Uh, if I need protein, I just eat insects and uh, larvas. But supposedly, the, the, yeah, yeah, she's, she's gonna go berserk now with whey. Okay, next stop is, uh, this is uh, a nursing room, yes, uh, wife is breastfeeding. Uh, let me see, yeah, yeah, we don't see any of that, it's, it's happening over there. Yeah, you know, I've been too busy with, um, with designing a house and picking, I mean, choosing stuff, so immediately when I, when I arrived, I was like, whoa, what is, what is this tap? It's Mura, okay. We're going for tap well, but yeah. So I'm just looking at the interior, <laughs> but it's nice. We have stuff to, we have, you know, microwave stuff. So. Nice amenities here at Nuibi. Okay, you know, we, we had that, um, uh, the, the strap thing last time. She didn't like it, it was too heavy. But this one, why she bought it from, from uh, AliExpress or something. <laughs> and it's cute, see, see, it has little wings there. <laughs> And it's so much better because I don't have to bend over to, uh, yeah, <laughs> to keep her safe. Well, this is super cute. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately now it's a weekday, so it's not too busy at Nubi. If you come here on a Sunday, it will be packed. But yeah, this is... <laughs> yeah, she likes it. Yeah, she's been sitting in the car too long. Uh, oh, you want to come to Daddy? Mm. Oh, no, no, she wants a microphone. She wants the microphone. She always wants the microphone. You're going to be a videographer. No, you're going to be a sound woman. Yeah, once you grow up. <laughs> wow, there's so much motion going on there. <laughs> Man. This is usually stuff you don't see me show or talk about during a range test or 1000 km challenge. You know, I was mowing the lawn yesterday and then there must have been a bee, wasp or I don't know, hornet or some shit. A bumblebee maybe. I was here, let me see if I can zoom in. Um, I got stung. What, focus, focus, come on. It's, yeah, there's not enough contrast. But I got stung. I think it's that one. Let me see if I can zoom in on there. Uh, there is a there's a fang. There, maybe there. Can you see? It? I'm not sure if I got I pulled the fang out or not. But first there was like a small one, and I was like, okay, whatever. It will probably buff out. Now it has swollen up. What the heck, man? It's itchy. It's freaking itchy, and you can see it's red. What the heck is it? Must have been a giant hornet. Or, I don't know, maybe I just have a reaction. Man, I put some, uh, they call it cortisone. Uh, some some stero local steroid. Barely help. Ugh. I think I need to apply more, but I have it at home. Man, man down, man down. And this is also, this is the hammer foot. What am I supposed to do then, huh? <laughs> Okay, so the ladies, they've been shopping for a little bit, but um, I had to rush them and say, that, okay, we have to get back home before it's too late. I'm actually doing a 1000 kilometer challenge with this one, with trailer tonight. So I need some rest, but it's freaking hot in the car right now. So what I'm gonna do is, um, oh shit, it's hot, okay. So what I'm gonna do, where is it on recirculation now? Or is it auto? Is it auto recirculation? Auto, okay. No, but we just, this is a little bit clumsy. In a Tesla, you can just do it here, but you have to go to this car icon and then go to cabin comfort. And then, yeah, let's use this one, power, turn on power keep mode. So the weird thing is that, okay, now that we have it on, I want to cool down the cabin so it's not over hot once we're back here. And I want to grab the, um, the stuff here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, here we have the cooler bag and stuff for shopping uh, food now. We always shop the food, food last. Okay, wifey told me to bring leaky. So this is the one. 
when it's folded you can fit it in uh, most frunks well at least uh, tesla frunks and so on and then you just unfold it like this wait let me see zoop and then it becomes a little mini stroller i think hopefully isabel wants to use this one right now all right i move the car closer to the other entrance and um, this is the strange thing about the keep climate on or whatever you call it you see that the screens are active oh shit as a focus but the screens are active they are on but the car is locked so uh, at night i don't want to attract too much attention and why does the screen have to be on and then some other chinese cars they will also have the lights on this one doesn't have it but okay whatever so let's go this is the shortest uh, distance to uh, this entrance so after a while uh, isabel will refuse to sit in the cybex so we usually end up putting stuff there just like in thailand but then she wants to ride leaky and what's good about leaky is that you see now this one is just a dummy pedal but then eventually we can move the pedal over here but you see it's it is in a dis disconnected state and then you can i don't remember how this you can connect the pedal so she can start pedaling also and now this one is locked but eventually she can also steer so all that stuff can be adjusted as the baby grows yeah but now it, she's more like in the passive just riding uh, uh, configuration here huh? Huh? okay and her wife is shopping stuff okay the trolley is full of uh, food and the leaky needs to be uh, yeah uh, assemble this way disassemble and then Isabel is asleep now <laughs> oh, it's twice the energy when you have to deal with the baby also I'll be back in Norway yeah um, uh, we're heading towards uh, Oslo now but I have 66% uh, battery first I thought about uh, swapping batteries but uh, since uh, Isabel is asleep there, it makes a bit of noise plus that uh, we have 65% battery. We, that's plenty, man. Yeah. So, um, but what I need to do is I need to test if this car works with V2 and V3 supercharger, because many Chinese cars, for some reason, they don't work properly with superchargers. So, and since I'm going to do uh, uh, the the 1,000 kilometer tonight, I don't want to get stranded at the Hoxtorp with low juice, and uh, it won't work. <laughs> so, yeah, fortunately, there should be plenty. Wait, what the heck, man? When I go on this one, it shows it briefly only, and then it goes away. So there is some, uh, there are plenty of superchargers we can visit. And yeah, look at that. It just shows it for about 10 seconds. What the heck is up with that? Man. We are now at Inspiria V3 supercharger. Let me see. Let's test if it works or not. No, the Tesla app is dog slow wait okay when we see this one it should work it says 75 kilowatt let me just verify inside the car yeah it's working okay let's disconnect and go okay i've got rig v2 supercharger but i'm going to show you a clip uh, wifey took uh, wow it's awesome quality isabel was dancing to uh, uh the toy and then she got she got a bit scared she was dancing, dancing. <laughs> oh, well, she has a reflex, isn't it? <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, let's see. I mean, if V2 works, then V3 also works. The, the cars that did not work with Tesla Supercharger, they would work with V2, but then not with V3, like the Korean cars and there was another chinese car i don't remember which one it was um but here it seems like it works so now i know yeah it seems to work so that means that yeah i can use uh, supercharger plus i own it or whatever i can use on the challenge oh yeah this is good missy wait huh there there, there 79 kilowatt okay this car should be able to take over 100 uh, i think 125 kilowatt some people reported even 140 or something so yeah we will see during the challenge then how it goes okay now uh i think we need to go to the restroom first that's okay and then back home but we don't need to charge it's a little bit far uh gas stations over there so about there we are just doing this for the test and we have plenty of juice to go home 
So yeah, this app is really slow. The Tesla app is just so sluggish. Every time we're gonna do something, like many times click and then like uh, click, wait, loading. This is un so unlike how, how snappy the car's infotainment. What the heck? Look at that. Look at that lag, man. Okay, whatever. Let's get the heck out of here. We are back in Oslo and I have to ABC. I forgot that I'm doing a 1000 km challenge in around, uh, starting in around uh, six, seven hours. So uh, uh, unfortunately, you see, I have only four kilowatt charging at home. It doesn't go very fast. Uh, the new house will have uh, at least 11 kilowatt, which is very convenient. Like times like now, it would be great if I can start with 100%, not uh, in six, seven hours, I'll be at around 60% only. And then I have to waste time and money at a fast charger outside my home instead. But okay, so I'm not done yet. Uh, yeah, we unloaded the whole car. The whole family is gone, G-U-N. They are inside the house. Uh, and then I have to pick up... Um, what, what the heck, man? Um, it, like, I keep setting north up, but the car resets to head up. Like, like oh, wait for the lag. I don't want to look at this. What is this? Is this Greece? No, this is Europe. But uh, who the heck looks at, at this one? I prefer north up. So you can do this and then, um, yeah, okay. Well, and then let me zoom out. Okay, there, that, this is better, this is better. Yeah, <laughs> because why? Because, yeah, for navigation, yes, I would like to have the direction, but then for normal map, map view, uh, for Google Maps, for example, on the computer or even on the, on the phone, I prefer to have north up. So just a nitpicking, but then, okay. Um, Anyway, I'm going to go over there and pick up a parcel at Meja order at Elchup. Okay, we are topping up at the Meja charger. Uh, this is just 50 kilowatt, but at least it's ABC. Huh? I only received 43 kilowatt. Uh, oh yeah, I think the volt, yeah, it says 199. I think maybe the, uh, no, the, the, the voltage is a bit low on this battery pack. But okay, um, it wasn't a thing for the Meja. It was mine, my precious Sony WF. 1000 XM5. I have XM4 and I want to upgrade. I use these ones when I edit videos on the move and the XM5 mostly has better base and uh, I don't remember all the, the improvements. So this is work uh, equipment for me. So, oh yeah, I can't wait to test it out. I also have the, the, the full headset, you know, the over-ear one. They are really, really good for, for sound, uh, well, uh, noise cancellation. Man, I wish Sony would uh, team up with Tesla and make uh, ANC for the Teslas. That would be insanely good. But yeah, so there you guys have it. The family car, you know, normally I would be hammering it or whatever, right? To pulling a trailer or doing 1000 kilometer challenge. But today I want to show you the family and also show the car as a family car. And it is really, really good. It's comfortable, it's quiet, it's spacious. You know, it doesn't look that big, but it is actually quite big. And um, this is based on the pure EV platform. So it can actually take 30 banana boxes. Model X five-seater can take only 28 banana, banana boxes. And you see, we don't even have a frunk. So yeah, this is uh, actually, you know what? I've tested so many uh, Chinese, uh, so, many many, so many Chinese cars lately. And I gotta say, this must be one of the best Chinese cars and Neo also in general Neo they are really really good okay they're a little bit expensive but uh, you can buy them with bus this one cost less than 680k nook with bus 100 kilowatt hour but then with bus you also get 200 kilowatt hour of charging or battery swap per month so it's actually a pretty good deal uh, the space the comfort oh man I like it look at it forgot to show you since we had uh, people in the back here. But yeah, we even have seats that can recline. Huh? What do you think about that? So, I mean, uh, overall though, for the price, uh, it's, it costs half of an EQS SUV. It's faster than EQS. Uh, it doesn't ride as much boat as an EQS. And the comfort and the, the, the when you touch and feel stuff here, you feel like this is sturdy stuff. If I, if I didn't show you the logo and maybe the screen, if you were just driving it and just get the feeling of the driving and touching stuff here, 
you would probably guess it was a German car, not a Chinese car. That's really how good this Neo is. Yeah. So anyway, now I'm gonna go home, get some rest, and prepare for some uh, hammering with trailer. <laughs> so that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.